What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Kyle. I do all things motorcycle related. So if that's your thing, why don't you go down and click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos. So, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the top five tips for long distance riding. These top five tips are to combat rider fatigue. And I'm not talking about um, actual motorcycle mods, okay? So this video is going to be more tailored for if you already went ahead and you got yourself a taller flared windshield to stop head buffeting. If you already went ahead and changed out your handlebar to something that was a little bit more tailored and comfortable for you. If you already went ahead and changed out your seat, something a little bit more comfortable, something with a rider backrest so you can lean back. If you already went ahead and changed out your front and rear suspension from stock, those things are all more creature comforts on the motorcycle. So this video is going to be five tips that you can take to combat rider fatigue on long distance riding. Like I just said, this video isn't going to pertain to actual motorcycle mods. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get to number one. So coming in right at number one on my five tips to help long distance riding is going to be hydration. Now I'm not saying go get a hydro backpack like you're going to be hiking the Alps or mountain biking. Of course that would probably work pretty good but you're just going to be stopping even more for bathroom breaks. What I'm getting at is when you get up in the morning before you leave try to drink a full bottle of water. All right you know typically if you roll out of bed and you drink a full water before you even eat that's great so that's what i'm kind of getting at here you know when you get up in the morning drink some water when you eat your breakfast don't just load up with caffeine because that's going to dehydrate you drink some water when you stop for fuel you stop for rest breaks take a couple sips here or there and just track your water throughout the day now remember as a good general rule of thumb you're supposed to intake your body weight divided by two and that is the fluid ounces of water you're supposed to intake in a day. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't do that and that is why hydration is key and that's why it's number one on my list. So that is number one, hydration. Moving right along, number two, stretch. Stretch early and stretch often. Now this follows right up with hydration. When you get up in the morning and you're getting ready for your ride, go down. Touch your toes or touch as far as you can go. Hold it for 10 or 15 seconds. Reach across, touch a table, stretch your back for 10 or 15 seconds. Put your arm up on a door jam and just kind of do one of these numbers for 10 or 15 seconds. Anything that you can do that stretches like this for 10 or 15 seconds. Anything of that nature, that is all going to help you stay loose. You pair that up with drinking some water that's going to keep you hydrated and loose and that will help you on your long day of riding to lay down some miles without getting the uptight muscles as well as when you stop for fuel you're going to get off there you go again try to touch your toes try to move around flex your torso keep everything loose not only you're keeping everything loose with stretching but you're going to also up the circulation so therefore parts of your body that might have got reduced in blood flow. You're going to get the blood flowing throughout your body, which is also going to help your, your cramping and your fatigue. So that is number two, stretch early and stretch often throughout the day. Number three, as silly as this sounds for long distance riding to help fatigue, wear a full face helmet. Now I know that I'm going to catch a lot of flack with that because there's people that, that don't want to wear helmets or just want to wear half helmets and hey that's fine you ride your own ride i'll ride my own ride however a full face helmet in my opinion for long distance riding is a game changer not only does it kind of keep your head out of the elements but it's going to keep the sun off of you when you're out in the sun all day you know that drains you so it's going to help with that as well as wind noise 
I've been there. I've ridden with a half helmet. I've ridden with a full face helmet. And let me tell you what, I can ride all day long, get off that bike with wearing a full face helmet and not even feel like least bit mentally drained as opposed to a half helmet where I get off, my ears are ringing, my eyes are all dried out, stuff like that. I know some people say full face helmets don't necessarily take out all the wind noise and they still get the ringing in their ears. Or if you decide you still wanna wear a half helmet or no helmet at all, maybe get yourself a pair of earplugs, as corny as it sounds, so that way at the end of the day, your ears aren't ringing or they don't hurt from all the wind noise. So that's number three, wearing a full face helmet and or earplugs. Coming in right at number four, dress appropriately. As simple as that, dress for the weather. If you're going and it's gonna be cold, bring thicker, heavier gear or heated gear. If you're going and it's 100 degrees and it's in the desert, you know, if you wanna wear a t-shirt, wear your sunscreen, wear vented gear or anything light and breathable. And along with wearing something light and breathable for the hotter summer months, you know, don't wear your black chaps and your black leathers because that's just gonna make you sweat like a fiend as well as just, it's gonna hold the heat in. Wear lighter colors and wear lighter, loose fitting, vented clothing if you're gonna be riding in the sun, as well as wear your sunscreen and stuff like that. Cause you don't wanna get roasted by sunburn one day and have to get right back on the bike and put that same skin into the elements and you're gonna be in for a long, horrible day. And again, if you're gonna be riding in colder months, wear that full face, wear the thicker gloves, wear your long john, wear a pair of thicker jeans, wear a head jacket or a heated jacket or heated pants or heated socks, heated grips, stuff like that. If it's hot, wear your loose, light colored stuff. If it's cold, layer up. Moving right along to number five, just take some breaks. If you're gonna be out on a 13, 14 hour trip, unless you're under the gun with time restraints, whether you gotta get back home to go to work or whatnot, take your time. You're on a motorcycle. The whole purpose of being on the bike is to detach from the world and just relax and have a good time. You don't have to go 100 miles an hour. Just set the cruise control, kick back, relax. Enjoy the ride. If around 100, 150, 200 miles, you know you start getting fatigued, take a break. Stop. Top off your fuel tank. That way you don't have to do it later. Stop. Walk around. Take a sip of that water. Hydrate. Take a stretch. And like I said earlier, it's a motorcycle trip. You should be enjoying every minute of it. So just take your time and enjoy the ride. Unless, like I said, you are under the gun and you have a place to be or you're doing an iron butt or a bun burner and you physically just have to lay down miles in as little amount of time as possible, then, you know, you're just gonna have to kind of suck it up a little bit. Now, those are my top five. Just to recap, I have number one as hydration. I have number two, stretching. I have number three, wearing a full face or earplugs. Number four, dress for the weather. And number five, just take your breaks. But those are my top five tips for long distance riding. Like I said, this video is not gonna pertain to handlebars and all that. This is gonna be tips to help you guys if you already went through and did all the stuff to your bike and you're still having trouble laying down miles, try one or all these five tips and I bet you it is gonna work wonders for you. But I got a, another bonus tip for you guys, so don't click off the video just yet. My bonus tip is leave earlier or later in the day. Either leave late at night or early morning. You won't have to deal with the headache or the traffic or the other drivers as if you left or you're arriving later in the day with rush hour traffic or the morning commute traffic. You might as well just try to avoid all that. Sitting in a traffic with the sun beating on you is no fun. And even if you're in a state that is legal for lane splitting, it's still going to slow you down. If you leave earlier or later in the day, those are miles that you can just be crushing going the speed limit with your cruise control set. You don't have to worry about constantly head on a swivel, checking for other drivers. You can just maintain your field of view and just lay miles down. And like I said, you'll be able to lay miles down before other drivers join you on the road ultimately. But that is it for my top five tips for long distance riding to combat rider fatigue. If I didn't mention something that you think should have been in this top five list, be sure to leave a comment down below what you would have added to the list. I'm curious to see what you guys would think. As if something I mentioned you didn't think of, 
comment down below and let me know what I did good on. And by you guys commenting down below your tips that I didn't include, we can help fellow riders on their journey to try to lay down more miles as well as to really enjoy the ride and not have to be fatigued. But as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to smash that like button, comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos. But as always, make sure to ride safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!